Welcome to another drag strip episode. Today we're gonna learn how fast this Italian stallion Torex 660 from Aprilia is from 30 to 120. I am gonna turn off all the electronic nannies so I'm gonna do this in off-road mode with the throttle in the most aggressive mode and I'm not gonna have any traction control enabled so the engine power is not gonna be nerfed while we do this acceleration. I'm gonna try to do two good runs maybe three if I feel like doing a third one and we're gonna see how much time does it actually take to reach 120 with this mid-size adventure bike. This has 80 horsepower and it comes around 9000 rpm so very very high up in the rpm range. I'm gonna have to try to make my switches as best as I can but not to go to the rpm limit because that's gonna ruin the run so I'm gonna try to switch gears at 9000. This bike has one superpower in its sleeve and that is the quick shifter. It sounds glorious when you accelerate and uh, just throw in the bigger gears and you don't even have to flip the throttle, just keep pushing in a bigger gear. So let's take this Italian beast out on the road and run these tests with the Racebox Mini that I already have here on my handlebars. Links in the description. <laughs> let's do this. Right, let's see what this thing can do. run awesome let's go to the computer so this was a bone stock bike with a full tank of gas only thing I've done to this bike is remove the passenger foot pegs that's like 1.23 kilos something like that if I do some performance upgrades like the ECU upgrade exhaust swap at some point to this bike I'm gonna rerun this test but for now I'm pretty happy about the stock bike and these three runs which is uh, the third one was the fastest and that's the one you can see on the screen now. It was trying to pull the front wheel up a little bit on the first gear but I managed to get pretty clean runs and the times were pretty equal to each other so I'm happy about that. I'm gonna try to do the same test during this summer with the Tenere 700. It would be an interesting comparison to this Tour X660 definitely. I think the quick shifter is making some difference here but if you're very fast with the blips and you know the bike if it's your own bike you can probably manage to get pretty close to the similar results without the quick shifter but it definitely helps. Would you have guessed that it's uh, under five seconds with these mid-size adventure bikes? This and all the future runs are all always going to be imported to the excel sheet down below so check the description of this video. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. See you on the next videos. Bye.